as a referee. Brazil against Argentina. And he's still the most fierce rivalry when it comes to national team football. The two captains tonight, Robinho and Javier Mascherano, exchanging pleasantries. There's been nothing pleasant in general when these two teams meet, Robbie. It's uh, just up in the desert, perhaps. Renewing their vow. You saw him on the ball, be wearing number 11. An amazing. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just like that some of the squads that he's picked already, Batista. There's a consistency there that we never. World Cup 2014 is Ronaldinho, form for Palermo in Italy, and held Di Maria back to Pastore. Scored a hat trick on Sunday for his Sicilian team at Palermo as Di Maria looks on. He was hoping for a decision in his from Aguero, but I think we all know that Argentina, in terms of attacking players, is fantastic uh, strength of. Coming all over the European leagues. Another look at uh, Neymar's precocious talent. And drew the foul from Nicolas Pereja. Just uh, very. Ronaldinho pacing out a run here. A shot on goal, the follow up efforts. Uh, just wide of the mark. Well, every time he gets a ball, there's got to be a creative aspect to it. Ronaldinho and Neymar combining. Elias giving chase, but that was a strong tap. Now Messi. Can hear the volume getting pumped up here in Doha. They've been so... Yes. And Hel Di Maria. Here's Messi. In Europe. Here's Ronaldinho. Slipping it through for Neymar. Bringing Zanetti into the build-up. Going for goal. Javier Zanetti. When you talk about veterans, you have to start with him. He's plays with Benfica. Yeah, it was a head to Messi. Higuaín making his run. Swinging it wide. Oh, it's Neymar. He was looking to lay it off. Oops, Antista Bobinho's arrival. They're still on the move here, Brazil. But the shot was a tame one in the end. Andre Santos, the left back. Di Maria against Alves. That's Real Madrid against Barcelona in club terms. Ronaldinho. Lines of players. And they're going to be heavily involved in all the build-up play. Argentina making inroads here. Messi. Oh, it's just going to be tippy-tappy and no tackles, no energy, no determination in the play. We've seen plenty of that already in the first ten minutes. I think for Argentina, I think Javier Pastore. And to Messi. Di Maria in some space. Across the face of the penalty area, he dribbled. And the shot was blocked. And in actually in the part, isn't he, early on? Javier Pastore, Palermo playmaker. Messi for once losing out. It's, doesn't mean anything. Yeah, and I think he's also keen to, to try. Well, the first uh, challenge that you might call a little feisty of the contest. The surprise is we had to wait 12 minutes for it. Ronaldinho. Both teams with really two disappointing finishes in a row as Danny Alves gallops forward. Good cross two for Neymar. Well, he attempted just to cushion it down in his stride. Take it around Pareja, but the ball getting away from the Santos Starlich. Well, just a heavy touch. He's got to get more involved, though, in this game so far. Ronaldinho. And to Neymar, the follow-up shot. He's always skewing well wide. Came from Elias, one of the uh, domestically-based players. And Mano Menezes is... Made a point of delving into the Brazilian... The left-hand side, and they will come inside as well to allow the full-backs to overlap. Danny Alves, back off the bar. Sergio Romero was beaten all ends up. Well, we see him do that week in, week out, don't we, for Barcelona. Oh, he loves it, he loves getting forward here. He's leaning back, but he's half volleying there. Difficult to keep it down. He does a very good job, actually, of keeping it down. Not quite good enough. So the fullback Santos on the left hand side and Dani Alves to get forward to add the width and maybe some quality balls into those front men. Ramirez into the box and, and get an odd goal for you. Dani Alves with the free kick. The 
here. Aerial battle won by David Luiz. They couldn't keep his effort down. Ronaldinho. Good circulation of the ball by Brazil in midfield. Now Neymar makes the incision into the penalty area. And it needed Mascherano to provide an escape, escape route for Argentina. For Brazil, Neymar. A little flick on. Almost fell. Ronaldinho's way. And, well, that would have been picture perfect, wouldn't it? Ronaldinho, the instinctive back heel. But right at Romero. Now Di Maria driving into the Brazilian penalty area. And Thiago Silva. Across to uh, Shepard, Shepard him away from the real Nicolas Pareja, the intended target. The follow up shot is pulled wide by Messi. He was in the Argentina starting lineup. No great surprises there, just confirmation of it for you. Nicolas Burdis. Neymar. Different looking squad that Bob Bradley has taken to South Africa this time. Should be. Uh... Breaks here for Neymar. Ronaldinho. Shift of feet, Danny Alves. It's horribly congested, though. The Argentina defence congealing. So maybe that's the difference for this match. Here comes Lionel Messi. Help available from Higuain. He's been driven wide. And the teams they play against aren't quite so aggressive and defensive. Argentina's last victory over Brazil, all the way back in 2005, a World Cup qualifier. Pastore, Messi for the incision Di Maria's run will at least yield a corner for Argentina conceded by Thiago Silva just trying on those little trademark through balls from Leo Messi here and Argentina's corner a deep one Pareja and the flick on but offside a remarkable goalkeeping job by Victor to keep it out he wasn't to know the flag had come up Higuain's double attempt Doing just that for Brazil. Back. Quick give and go. Exciting stuff involving Messi, but then the move breaks down. Well, we saw a move just like that for Barcelona last week of the Copa America. Which was the South American. National team champion. Absolutely, that's what I was thinking as the play was going on there. Double or almost a triple one-two there. And, and Leo Messi's a type of play in and around those. Vites as well. And his Neymar. And he went to ground, looking hopefully in the direction of uh, referee Ballade. And Serrano and Andre Santos making up as we look at the Argentina bench. Very experienced now as well, so he's going to be key to this team. Higuain for the first time tonight. Seeing the offside flag go up against him. Now uh, Neymar injecting some pace into the proceedings. He really ran at that Argentine Andre Santos standing over it. It's Ronaldinho. Well, Sergio Romero made it look spectacular. Not sure if that was entirely necessary, Robbie. Ramirez lost out. Messi doing the foraging. And very successfully. Available for the give and go. Higuain on to Messi. Has Di Maria available, but went for the jackpot himself. And Victor in goal from Brazil was a worried man. Uh, brilliant football. Started by this man and almost finished off by... Leo Messi there, look at how close that is, just clips the edge of the post actually, but it was fantastic football to get to this point, just swerving away a fraction isn't it, but some of the combination play, the dribbles, the little ones between him and Pastore, it's fantastic stuff. Shot that actually grazed the outside of pre-World Cup friendly. Robinho almost uh, picking the pocket, the Argentine defender there. Ramirez is going to get a talking to, here. isn't it? I think some of these friendlies have been fascinating in terms of the squads and some squads you've seen 
the national teams looking at younger players. A lot of these clubs have got teams have got new coaches into it. It's promptly halted by Lucas. Now the ball over the top. The flag staying down this time. Now Messi. Well, he saw a chance. League and Lias fits the bill too. Neymar not going to get there. Ronaldinho wondering where the whistle was. Little bits of uh, involvement so far for Ronaldinho. Neymar, only Robinho forward in support. It skips around his man. Today is Ronaldinho. With 4 4 for Brazil. Danny Alves is one of them. And it was neither here nor there in the end for Danny. Needs of second half changes. And that will be something to look for when we return. That's then. These two. Old rivals, and overall the balance of power couldn't be more even. Brazil have won 36, Argentina 34. There have been 24 draws over the years, but the recent series, as we told you, dominated by Brazil. But there's no reason why this Argentina team can't be similar in a wider area as well than Higuain. Now it's Neymar doing the running for Brazil. But Nicolas Pereja, a pretty good game so far, Pereja to operate and slips it through but the offside flag much to the chagrin of the crowd comes up again and running just a little sloppy on the through ball Robbie but as a player talk about pedigree he was part of the 1980 that's Robinho and held in check by Pereja this is going to be another Brazil free kick Well, it is, and... Duff. Oh, and that was uh, almost more productive. He wasn't that far away from his club teammate, Thiago Silva. There's a great ball in. It's as simple as that. Just a little too high for Thiago Silva, but it's got the pace, it's got the direction. Some tight, close control. Messi. Return pass from pass. And Ronaldinho in lots of space. Romero holding on. Messi comes back. Just on the edge of the area. Not so often we see... And they do more than that. Neymar. And Ronaldinho looking to reconnect with Danny Alves on the volley across the face of goal instead. I think that's what he's trying to do there, but he just got it all wrong. Danny Alves. Messi arriving. Oh, and the punch away only as far as Di Maria. Pastore's shot blocked. And Brazil somehow just scramble it away. And they do more than that. Now the shot from distance from Danny Alves. Got it to dip, but not quite enough. Work with here. Danny Alves away to his right and uses it. A deep cross, might find an unmarked man. The header down from... Left-hand side, Lavezzi on the right. He might lack numbers. Very little movement in front of him. Lavezzi prepared to offer his services. Well, the penchant for the spectacular. Ramirez, not really known as a goal scorer. This would have been quite something. Ronaldinho, with three for company. And they were forced to foul him, though. Well, it's the same uh, battle in there, isn't it? Ronaldinho against Javier Mascherano. The referee's going to go over and have another word with him. And there's a yellow card. Possessed by uh, Eva Benega, Messi. Oh, he's had David Lewis breathing down his neck and reacted to There's some anger there. Lionel Messi lashing out. Oh, you very rarely see that from Leo Messi. Very rarely see it. He gets kicked from pillar to post. There's Ronaldinho. Still go digging in successfully. Neymar taking over and still going. Referee playing some advantage and Robinho's shots. 
required a smart save from Sergio Romero. That was a big decision for the referee to play on there, Robbie. It was, because I'm not sure whether that was much of an advantage where you consider where the free kick would have been if it had been given right outside the box in the middle. He's got his arm in the air. Neymar, and he is going to get the free kick this time, but it won't be in quite as warm immediately. Now here's Ronaldinho all along the ground. And easy enough for Sergio Romero. Losing out in the midfield melee. Ronaldinho sweeping it forward to Neymar. Robinho trying to check his run this time by Lovetti. Uh, back came Elias and committed the foul. In the process, conceding a free kick. And perhaps a productive spot here for Argentina. Yes, early. It's Ronaldinho who makes way. Unaccustomed to seeing making mistakes. And Brazil have uh, earned themselves a free kick. Neymar, the player involved tonight for Neymar. Robinho quickly on. The referee deciding there was enough contact to warrant the free kick as Andre comes to taking free kicks. Oh, no end product this time. Well, he comes up slow to the ball there. He just sets the ball off on its trajectory too high. The shape of the ball is correct. You see what he's trying to do. He's just trying well, exchange of passes, Messi threatening to break through. Well, it was the last ditch challenge from Thiago Silva, which I think did just enough to take Lionel Messi out of his stride. Yeah, and I think other players, not Leo Messi, would have gone down under that challenge because when a player defender goes to ground like Thiago Silva did, either. Here's Robinho, help arriving. Robinho, it opened up for him. Well, all of a sudden. There was a channel to shoot down, and Robinho they took the invitation. Yeah, and I think he should have done. He's got a lot of space there, no defender really coming. Now Messi, trying to ignite something for Argentina. On to Lavezzi, and he's scampering forward, but even the mercurial Lionel Messi is not going to reach that. No, that's not a good ball, is it? But there's not really been any quality cutting edge when it gets into the into the final third for both teams. But is it going to come late on from Messi? Messi has a path through and shoots! Yes! He's done it! Taking matters into his own hands in spectacular fashion, Lionel Messi at last, at long, long last, seems to have won a game against Brazil. And look what it means to him, Robbie. Uh, just when we've given up on him and this game in general and the lack of quality, my goodness, straight away after I said these words, we get the quality that we've been waiting for all night long here. Driving inside, for once he gets away from the defending players, and we've seen this shot from Leo Messi many, many times. A goalkeeper, and everybody expects the ball to go in the other corner. I bet this goes through the legs. Yes, it does, Thiago Silva. So often the case, and the goalkeeper just can't get across here. Driving across one way, striking the ball across the direction of what he's going through the legs, and finally, we get an excellent piece of play in that attacking end, and surely Leo Messi wins the game for Argentina. A sting in the tail. Now this just up in the desert, and it's the blue and white of Argentina who are all smiles. Their first victory against Brazil in some five and a half years, and won by a goal that deserved to win any game at any place at any time. Thanks so much for the pleasure of your company. Our final scoreline reading here, Argentina 1, Brazil 0.